Hello and welcome to a another live stream from my Let's Fly channel and as promised I will deliver you um, a kind of showcase of the new OpenLC Europe pack that Orbix has recently released. A another live stream. Oh, wait a minute, that's me talking here. Just have to switch that off. Yeah, and um, I will make this about half an hour long at least that's what I plan and uh, I will show you the area and the surroundings of certain countries and I'm starting I, 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 I announced this live stream on my Facebook page and uh, I told the people there to leave me some uh, suggestions and one of the first suggestions was hey fly around the area of Berlin and I said, okay, I'll do that. And uh, yeah, here I am standing at Berlin Tempelhof. And um, we are going to do a uh, short flight around the area. Just let me check something first. And we're going to fly to um, Berlin Tegel. And yeah, just uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time here talking. Just want to show you the area. And so we're going to go straight to business. Okay. There we are. to idle a little bit here on the ground but that's okay so I'm going to set the squawk right Okay, so we'll switch on taxi light, avionics first. Close the door. Get rid of the pito cover and make a direct to. Berlin Tegel. It's not very far. And we are ready for taxi. I'm just going to put the flaps on 
Take off position. Well, here we go. Wind is coming from three zero degrees. Oops. Okay, I have to do some orientation first. I'm not used to this airport. Well, 09 will do just fine. I have to go on this taxiway here. Weird, I'm having a little bit of problems here with the performance. Don't know why though. Maybe it's because um, I'm... Well, you know, Berlin is a very densely populated area, of course, so maybe he has some problems with these tons of objects he's, ha he's having to display. That's weird. It's very jumpy performance. So in case you have any questions, just feel free to ask those questions here. Um, something I learned while installing FTX uh, OpenLC, this package, is um, that maybe if you have the product, you probably know that there is a so-called hybrid mode because, you know, when um, Back in the day, uh, Orbex had a problem that when you had a, a certain region of Orbex products activated, then flying around in other parts of the world was a bit of a pain of the ass because it didn't really um, display everything correctly. Um, so they um, invented a uh, hybrid mode. Wait a minute, I'm going to do the take of and then I'm going to talk about this just in a, just a little bit. Okay, so we need the landing light, strobe light, and everything else we don't need, so we can do the take off now. Okay, I'll take a look around in a bit as soon as I have uh, set up the autopilot. Okay, I'm set the heading to my. Okay.
heading mode. And uh, going to climb a little bit further here or higher so that I can show you more of the area. We can see that uh, currently we uh, have more. No, we are pretty balanced. Okay, that's okay. So, okay, um, as I was saying, you have this hybrid mode because. Um, um, when you have big regions like Australia and you're only flying in Australia you don't have any problems but when back in the day I had Orbex England installed and I used to fly from let's say Zurich to London and I wanted to enjoy the FTX region and so I had this problem that I uh, had Orbex England activated and I was flying from Zurich and I had this weird graphical errors in the scenery and I didn't know where they come from uh, until I uh, realized it's coming from Orbex and they invented this hybrid mode in order for you when you're flying from one point to another and you're flying into a Orbex region you had the opportunity to enjoy kind of the best of both worlds at least that's what I thought but now with Orbex OpenLC I read through the installation guide and they told me wait a minute when you are only flying outside of Orbex um, regions then leave, leave this hybrid mode off because you leaving it on means you are um, missing uh, some effects that Orbex Global gives you so I didn't know that so uh, only uh, that's for you now only use the hybrid mode when you plan on um, flying into an Orbix region and when you're in that Orbix region and you plan on staying in that Orbix region just leave this region activated and don't use the hybrid mode okay so it's a bit of a hassle when you get the hang but when you get the hang of it it's okay so let's take a look outside and let's see how this works out I'm going to stay at this altitude this looks good for me hopefully you too Okay, it seems pretty well trimmed. So let's take a look. Um, let's take a first look at what you can expect from this amazing product, if you ask me. You can see here. This is the more. This is the uh, the view to the um, to the south, or to the south, southeast. You can see this more rural area some lakes spread around the area I, I'm not familiar with the Berlin area so please help me in case I say anything wrong and you can see behind us is the more the, the core of, of the city will be back there in a minute so I'd say as we are limited with our time I'm going to yeah I hear you Okay. Right. So we're going to head north. Okay, so what can I tell you about the product itself? Uh, I, when I'm, when I will be doing um, more of these uh, live streams, I think I will repeat myself, but it doesn't matter that much. Uh, so you, what you are going to face when you decide to buy this product, you are um, looking at an expenditure of about, um, I think it's 38 Australian dollars. Uh, and I think it's about. Wait a minute. I'll just take a look at the web page. I'm going to tell you in a minute. You are looking at Australian dollars, thirty-eight ninety-five. 
that is in euros if you want to know that Australian dollars to euros that is I'm going to um, put in oh come on twenty seven euros approximately twenty seven euros that's the expenditure you are facing a download of let me check I'm having the files here da -da -da -da. well the biggest file is three gigabytes the smallest is two gigabytes the other ones are between or in between and uh, why different files because um, they have separated the download into a north west south and east region so that you can have separate installers please refer to their document on their web page which regions are included uh, in which package and I find it's very convenient because um, makes the install process less a hassle and um, makes the download less a hassle so it's pretty cool so but you are facing uh, at the end uh, Orbix OpenLC Europe uh, is going to take around 19 gigabytes of your hard drive space so bear that in mind when you uh, when you're playing with the thought of purchasing it and um, yeah what's what else is important you have to know that this is Orbix OpenLC Europe is a part of the puzzle you cannot go uh, out there with your standard FSX installation and install OpenLC Europe over it you have to bear in mind that you have to have to have the other pieces of the puzzle as well which means you I don't know whether with every single product whether it is uh, should or must but I recommend that you have all of those products um, you should have FTX global you should have uh, vector uh, Orbix vector and you should have OpenLC uh, Europe so this gives you the best possible experience and you're looking at something beautiful uh, like I am looking at now it's very very beautiful I mean, take a look at this this feels I, I wish I could show you the standard FSX compared to this view where we are uh, experiencing now and enjoying now I wish I could show you the difference because it is such a huge difference um, but it's not that easy to show you the standard FSX again there is a video though on YouTube where uh, a user has made a comparison kind of comparison video where where he's activating uh, the single layers of add-ons and you can pretty much uh, see what every add-on does and I mean take a look at this take a look at this along the farmland how it is uh, oriented and how the the trees are almost like hand placed and how the lakes fit in how the the roads fit in it really is it really is a new simulator you will get so much value for the the money you're investing in these products it's 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 awesome and uh, don't get me wrong I am not getting any money from Orbex or any of the companies that I'm uh, using uh, the products so I'm not making any uh, I'm not making any commercials for them or so and I'm not getting paid by them but this is the Orbex products these are this is a range of products I can really 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 recommend and I would if you ask me if there's one product that's really a must-have then uh, concerning uh, um, terrain add-ons it's it's Orbex it's Orbex products and it's Orbex global and I think in my opinion this OpenLC Europe package comes so close to uh, the uh, handmade regions like um, England Wales Ireland that it's almost as good as them so you're getting really really close to it okay so we are turning uh, towards uh, Tegel now I'm going 
to make a flyover, turn around and uh, land there. And you will have an opportunity to enjoy the scenery a little bit here. Um, just tell me in the chat which regions you want to see next. There are some regions that I'm going to show you for sure. Uh, I'm going to show you the Mediterranean coast. I'm going to show you the Alps. Um, I'm planning on uh, showing you the nor northern regions like Norway, Sweden, all that stuff. But you can write in here if you want to see anything specific. I mean, um, maybe you want to see your hometown region and uh, we'll see about that so that I can make uh, I cannot do 12 live streams a day but um, at least I will try to do some in the coming days and weeks and I hope that it will be a um, a good help in for you to make your decision whether you want to buy this or whether you or not okay so we are advancing now it's to uh, this is downtown I guess okay uh, initially you wanted me to start from Berlin uh, Schönefeld but I didn't like the airport there because I'm not having the add-on yet for the big airport so I started at Tempelhof but I'm having the add-on for Berlin Tegel, so we'll be landing at a beautiful add-on airport. I think the performance problem, I wouldn't call them problems here, but uh, at least a little bit decreased performance here is coming from the fact that we are flying around a big city here. If you ever, if you ever want to check the performance of your FSX uh, configuration just fly around Paris for example or any other big city but Paris is a very very good example uh, because uh, w I bet you will have a uh, fluid experience in rural areas but then uh, when you're flying around Paris you will see that you yeah the performance uh, breaks in drastically all right beautiful I can only say beautiful it's uh, really amazing what this product does with your FSX installation and you can also already see Berlin Tegel here just up front left and we're going to do we're going to fly kind of a traffic pattern here yeah about the plane that I'm flying maybe you re recognize that it's the A2A Piper pretty new as well it's a beautiful plane in case you're also thinking about buying this one I can highly recommend it It may be small, but uh, it is a high quality add-on and it really makes you feel like you're the owner of this plane if you're choosing all the realism options. So, let's speed things up a little bit here.
performance is uh, a little bit worse here, but it's still okay. So do you have any questions just feel free to ask them do you have any suggestions where I should fly next just let me know Could this happen? Yeah, could do that. This would also give me the opportunity to show you the Alps because that's about, or at least the beginning of the Alps because that's about half an hour of flight away. So that would be great, I think. It's a good suggestion. Thank you. Take a look at this beautiful landscape here. It all looks so hand placed and, and, and very natural. It's, it's, it's perfect. All right. Okay, so we'll prepare ourselves for the approach here. Off the autopilot now. him there he is it's 
the British Airways Airbus. smaller runway to the right Should be around 70 knots. I'm going to slow down to that now. speed now looks like there are some problems with the scenery though some bushes on the runway. That's a little bit weird. Scraper over there lying in the ground. Okay, <laughs> this shouldn't be the case. I have to check what's the problem here, but yeah. Okay. All right, let's see how we nail this landing. Looks good. Stay away, Airbus. <coughs> All right. bushes really irritate me but okay so this was my first live stream I will call them uh, Orbex Open LC showcase this was the Berlin part we're now at Berlin Tegel I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'm looking forward to show you a lot of a lot more regions and uh, well since there are no other suggestions the next region 
I'm going to show you will be Friedrichshaven, Lake of Constance, and uh, the beginning of the Alps. Looking forward to that. I will let you know uh, when I will be doing that live stream, but uh, in case you miss it, uh, it will be, um, or I will upload it to YouTube as always. And hope to see you next time. Until then, happy landings.